there are few sights better than seeing wildflowers growing in the middle of summer, but you don't need to go to the countryside to see them. You can grow them in your own neighbourhood by sowing your grow wild seeds here. Now you don't need to have green fingers or a massive amount of space, it's really simple and I'm going to show you how. So you need to find somewhere to sow your seeds. What you're looking for is an open patch that's open to the sun and it's not overcrowded by lots of other plants. I'm here in my friend's garden and I've got permission to start digging it up, so please ask permission before you start digging things up. And I'm going to tackle this bit down here because I think it will create a really nice feature in the summer. But first of all, I need to remove all of the weeds and grass. So I've just been chipping along with my spade here and you can see I've got some grass to remove. So when you're removing all of the grass and the weeds, make your best effort to make sure all of the roots taken out as well. Now it's really important to weed because they are competition for your flower seed and we want to give them the best chance. So now I just want to give this a good rake over to break down any big lumps that are left in the soil. And what you're looking for is a soil that's nice and crumbly. It's a bit like making pastry. You want to get a good crumb. And it's really better to do this on a dry day because otherwise the soil becomes really compacted. It's also really hard to work when it's wet. So now the fun bit, we get to sow the seed. So I'm just going to get in here and then carefully open this packet. As you can see, we've got an incredible mixture of seed here and it's really exciting to think what these are going to grow into. I really love cornflowers because of that ridiculously beautiful blue colour. But then you've got oxide daisies, which are like lawn daisies, but giant, or corn poppies, which are the classic red flower that everybody loves. And if you go to growwilduk.com, you can explore a bit more about what's in your mix. Because I'm covering a largish area, I'm going to mix a bit of sand in with the seeds and that will really help me see where I've been sowing them because the sand will stand out against the dark soil. And now to sow your seed. Now I always try and think positive thoughts when I do that and wish them well. All you need to do now is gently rake them in. They don't need to be buried but just a little covering will help. So then you want to water them in, unless you know it's about to pour it down because this is the UK after all. And then keep an eye out if you hit any dry spells in the summer, come out and give them a water. But otherwise they're a really low maintenance way of adding some natural beauty to your local environment. And what's more, they're a really important source of habitat and food for our pollinators like bees and butterflies. And they look truly amazing, especially in the height of summer when they're all out in bloom. So get out there and get sewing and go to the Grow Wild Facebook and Twitter to share your stories and photos. Mm -hmm.